so the complications of decompression surgery can be likened to the complications of any spinal surgery. These relate to things that happen commonly, things that happen very rarely, and things that happen extremely rarely, but they have a very severe consequence. And there are things related to gener uh, specifically to the spine and generally to anything else. Uh, so if you were to be sitting with me talking about an operation, often the way I'll talk to you about complications of surgery involve infection, bleeding, scar, stiffness, nerve damage and blood vessel damage. Uh, there's a sm small but not insignificant risk of paralysis and bowel and bladder incontinence at about 1 in 500. There's a small uh, but real possibility of developing a tear in the coverings of the spinal cord called a dural tear which leads to a leak of the fluid that bathes the spinal cord and the brain called the cerebrospinal fluid. That can occur um, more frequently than damage to nerves themselves and can lead you to developing a headache or need repeat surgery. The general risks of a spinal surgery relate to the immobility either during or after the surgery. We hope it's not very long um, uh, in terms of duration of immobility after the surgery because we want patients to get up and go the same day but you can get a clot in the legs called a DVT that can travel up to your lungs called a pulmonary embolus. That can be very dangerous but it's very uncommon.